everybody. Welcome to a new episode of Rap Geekery with Amy. I'm Amy and I wrap babies. Welcome to this episode where we're going to talk about short front wrap cross carry variations and we are doing this as part of Shorty Week. So if you're watching this during um, the middle of April 2016 then you've caught our posts during Shorty Week. Um, we are at Amy Wraps Babies we're doing a bunch of things to celebrate short size woven wraps and so that would be um, anything that's a couple sizes down from your base size so I'm giving away a size 4 wrap um, the giveaway is sponsored by Emmeline Textiles um, they're giving away a size 4 because for most people um, we can do short carries with a size 4 so there's carry options available to do whether you're a base size 8 to a base size 4 um, you can use this woven wrap for all kinds of things we're celebrating that this week, the Shorty Week. Um, so I wanted to talk about short front wrap cross carry variations. And to do that, I thought we would start by first showing you the original front wrap cross carry. So this is done with a base size wrap, um, but it's what all the short variations are built on. So um, let's talk about it real quick for a second. So um, it's a, a pocket in front, and then the tails come in your back, um, up over your shoulder, and then one tail goes over, over one of baby's legs, knees, he's kind of popping his seat now, over one of his knees, and then under the opposite knee, and they cross, you can see that, under his bottom. So that's how we call it front wrap cross carry, because it's got the two cross passes here. Um, so I am going to take him out of this and grab my short wrap. And then we can talk about all the variations and how they are similar or different to this basic base size carry. Okay, so I have my short woven wrap now. This is um, my base minus two. It's a long size three. Um, and it is by Emmeline Textiles. It's called Eleanor Pearl. This is the first wrap that Emmeline Textiles has released. And to celebrate that, they're letting me give one away. So if you're watching this episode during the middle of April 2016, then you should enter to win a woven wrap just like this one, but a size 4. Um, so I'm going to show you what you can do with a woven wrap all week during Shorty Week on my Amy Wraps Babies pages. Um, but for now, let's do some front wrap cross carry variations short front wrap cross carry variations with this um, base minus two wrap. So first things first is find your middle marker. We start a lot like front wrap cross carry except instead of placing the middle marker on your chest you're gonna go off center. So I like to go into my armpit sometimes even a little bit deeper if I have um, a slightly longer short wrap. Um, so middle marker over here and then take one of your tails out to the side and flip it around back just like front wrap cross carry. Gather the tail over your shoulder um, and you should have, <clears throat> I'm going to put my middle marker even deeper into my armpit, even almost back to my spine. Um, your tail is going to want to be about waist height. So then bring the other side around your back, up your shoulder like so. So you have a short tail and a long tail. And then I like to find my top rail, gather my wrap up. It just makes it a lot easier for me to get my baby in. So I can grab my baby. So, like a front wrap cross carry, get your hand into the pocket, welcome baby's legs in, sit baby on the gathered up Part of your wrap. Find the top rail, bring it up baby's back, nice and smooth. Tuck the gathered bit of wrap underneath baby's legs and in between you to make a seat that supports baby from baby. While not losing your shirt. And then the short wrap, the short tail, is the one that's closest to your body because we put that over our shoulder first. So find the top rail. <laughs> Pull out the slack. Okay. 
So there's my short tail all tightened up. So we're bringing under a baby's bottom. Tighten this pass over here, your longer tail. Same way. Gather a little bit, pull, you can see it tightening up there. Gather a little bit more. I like to bring it behind me when I pull so the fabric isn't traveling across my back. It's getting a little sunny. It's supposed to be a cloudy day today. Perfect for filming. What I'm gonna start with is um, a variation on front wrap cross carry that's just tied at shoulder. So this one can stay bunched. You're gonna bring it over a baby's leg just like a regular front wrap cross carry, but then the other leg, it's gonna go over the knee as well. So you're basically just scooping up baby's bottom in this bunched pass. You can take the longer pass and tie it shoulder, make a slip knot. You could also use a ring here. <laughs> Adjust to make sure the bunching is comfortable for you. But then make sure this um, bunched pass is supporting baby's seat from knee to knee. The next variation we'll do is half front row cross carry. I to think about it. So make sure you maintain tension in both of your passes. So this longer pass, instead of keeping it bunched, bring the top rail across baby's back. And then the bottom rail under baby's bottom. I like to gather it over here. I'll move this so you can see under baby's leg. So the next short front wrap cross carry variation is a semi front wrap cross carry. So this is where our variations start to skew a little bit because we're getting into one shoulder carries. So after you've tightened both your short tail and your long tail, take your long tail, pull it out to the side so that you maintain, maintain tension on both the top rail and the bottom rail, and then bring it down under your arm. And then I like to grab it with this other hand <clears throat> as I complete that sort of motion. Mm. Then this pass is going to go under baby's leg first. Then up baby's back. I like to find that top rail. There it is. Up baby's back. Tension is being maintained under his leg, so um, I don't... I don't, I'm not as careful with it. Um, pull this up his back. And then the extra slack can go under the seat. And get this tail out of the way a little bit. Gather all this up here. And make your knot. Again. So, short, or sorry, semi, front wrap cross carry, cross pass, one shoulder, slip knot. So then our last variation for today is another one shoulder carry, and then we'll let this guy sleep for a little bit. Um, this is a front reinforced torso rebozo, so it's not often thought of as a 
short front wrap cross carry variation. Um, but if you go down the line and start with a um, front wrap cross carry tarted shoulder, and then a half front wrap cross carry, and then a semi front wrap cross carry, you kind of naturally get to front reinforced torso or bozo or FRTR. This is my favorite carry for a newborn. Um, this guy isn't a newborn anymore, but I have a tutorial on my YouTube channel for it, and he's six days old, so it's like my favorite thing in the world. Um, anyway, bring the top rail up to baby's neck again, and then the extra slack is going to be tucked under and in between you again. I'm grabbing it with the other hand. You can't see there. I'm going to get this out of the way again so you can see. <clears throat> You don't need to, to, to tuck the to tuck the tail over there like this. Okay. So now you've got um, no cross passes. And you can take your wrap and tie it shoulder again. So those are all the short front wrap cross carry variations that I really enjoy. They can all be tied at the shoulder with a slip knot or a ring. Um, so let's go over them all again. Um, first we did our classic front wrap cross carry in my rainbow wrap. Um, so let's put that, let's put that over here. And then we did a um, front wrap cross carry tied at shoulder. Yes, this is working. And then we did a half front wrap cross carry. Half front wrap cross carry. And then the one shoulder variations are semi front wrap cross carry and our front reinforced torso or bozo. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Wrap Geekery with Amy. I'm Amy and I wrap babies. I'm gonna try to make more episodes, so please stay tuned. I love interacting with you guys in this way. So um, thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Um, see you next time.